Hi everyone, welcome to Story Time this evening. It is so good to have all of you on. I am just so happy to be sharing this evening with all of you as you, I'm sure, are getting ready for um, bed. And if you're not getting ready for bed, you're just winding down at the end of a long day and you just want to hear a really good Bible story tonight so that you can feel at peace and relax and hear from God's word. We want to say thank you to those of you who are watching us on YouTube. We want to say hello and we want to say thank you for watching us. Please remember to like us, hit that like button. We want to make sure that we get your like button and, and share this story with someone. Share it with a friend or a family member with someone that you know would like to hear tonight's Bible story. If you're watching us on City Kids Queen's Facebook page, we want to say hello to you too. We want to say thank you for watching us. We love all of your hearts. Remember that. So make sure to give us all of your hearts because we like it. Like this story and share it with someone, whether you want to share it with a family member or a friend as well. This is a good time to share um, God's word with friends, cousins, or family members that you want to share it with. So we want to say thank you for joining us today. We hope that you had a great weekend. We hope that it was good. It was a nice weekend. The weather was good. I know it rained for a little bit on Saturday, just a little bit of rain, but the sun did come out and the weather was so, so nice. I was able to spend it in my backyard for a little bit. So I hope that you were able, and I saw some of you sent some pictures of what you were doing outside in the weather, enjoying your time with the beautiful days. And it's so good to see your faces and pictures because I miss all of you. I know some of you, many of you are stepping up and you are stepping up from um, kindergarten into first grade. And some of you are going into um, first grade into second. And some of you are going into second into third. And some are even going from third into fourth. So we're just so happy that all of you are, are stepping up when you're getting ready for all of that. So we're excited and we celebrate you. And so we're really excited to see all of you. And we know some of you are even going, um, some of your brothers and sisters are going into high school. Some of you, fifth grade, sixth grade. We're just so excited for every grade all the way up until high school, seventh, eighth, ninth. We want to say we celebrate you. We see you. We see your hard work. Um, and we know that you are working hard to so keep it up. And some of you are even going to kindergarten from pre-K to kindergarten. So we want to say yay that we see you and we're very, very excited. So um, we've seen some of those pictures of you, um, just either that you have the stepping up pictures or you're cleaning out your uh, classroom pictures and your graduate um, graduating pictures and we want or and we want to say that we're so proud of you we're very very proud of you so I am here today with my friends and I want to say thank you to all of you you're my friends you're all of all of you who are watching we have you're called our story time friends and family so I want to say thank you to all of our story time friends and family for watching us um, and I'm here with my friends Ellie the Elephant, and I'm here with Teddy, and I am here with Rabbit. They are all here to hear tonight's story and to just share tonight's story with all of you. So we are so excited to get started. I know I always say, who is story time for, right? You should know the answer right by now. Story time is for you. That's right. Story time is for you. Say story time is for me. Story time is for you. And so we just want to say thank you for watching. Make sure that you let us know that you're on. Share your name with us. Say, hi, it's me. And let us know your name so that we can greet you and we can say hello to you. We want to make sure that you get a nice, warm welcome and a nice greeting. And we want to be able to greet you by name. And if you can't type in, you can just wave at the screen. And I'm waving back to you. And I want to say thank you for joining us. And I want to say thank you for being on with us because some of you are not able to type and that's okay. But we want to be able to wave to you and give you a thumbs up. And I want to say hi um, and get nice and comfortable. I hope you have your story time PJs on because I have my story time PJs on. I hope you have your nice comfy blankie because I certainly have my nice comfy blankie. And that you're snuggled up with your story time friends because I have all of my story time friends here with me. Ellie, Teddy, and Rabbit, and they are all ready to hear today's word from the Bible. 
And so today we're still in the Old Testament. We're going to learn about a woman warrior. Can you say that with me? A woman warrior. I know some of you, um, and we've talked about your favorite superhero before, and some of you had said that um, some of you like Superman, some of you said you like Spider-Man, and some of you gave me your favorite superheroes, and you can type those in if you want to, or just share them or say them out loud. My favorite superhero is, and everybody can share that, but we talked about our favorite superheroes before. Some of you mentioned that your favorite superhero was Wonder Woman, and I told you that I grew up loving Wonder Wonder Woman. She was my favorite superhero. And then when I saw Captain Marvel, I said, I love Captain Marvel. She's another female superhero that I liked. So it's Wonder Woman and Captain Marvel. There were two female super. Some of you said the Black Panther was your favorite superhero. I love the Black Panther too. So all of you have like really great favorite superheroes. But the Bible talks to us about a real person who was a warrior. Her name was Deborah. She was a female, a woman warrior. And I love the Bible because the Bible tells us true stories. They're not like cartoons or comic books or they're not like movies where there's actors and actresses who pretend to play roles. The Bible actually tells us true, live, real stories that have happened. And so today's story, we're going to learn about a real, live woman warrior. And her name was Deborah. Deborah. And we're going to read about her and read about what, how she was a warrior. She loved God. Deborah loved God. And she was a strong woman of God, a woman who actually had to help God's people. And so we're going to read about her in today's story. You can find the story of Deborah in the Bible, in the book of Judges, Judges chapter four, Judges chapter four. So what I want to do is I hope you're comfy. You have your you're, you're nice and comfortable because I'm going to start reading. And if you haven't introduced and told us that you're on, let us know that you're on. Say hi. Tell us your name because we want to make sure to greet you um, and make sure that we say hi to you this evening. So the title of today's story is Deborah Leads the Way. Deborah Leads the Way. The Israelites, now we know the Israelites were God's people. Those were the ones that Moses rescued, right? He took them from um, Egypt and he rescued them. He took them out because God told him that that's what he wanted um, Moses to do. He told Moses, I want you to take my people out of Egypt. And we know that they crossed the Red Sea and we know um, that they were in the desert for a while and he gave them manna from heaven and quail and then water from a rock. We know that he let them have a promised land. He gave them a land. He says, this is going to be your new land. And so we're reading about the Israelites and here it says that the Israelites lived in the promised land because they were in the promised land. They made it to the promised land for many, many years. Think about a lot of years, a whole lot of years. The Israelites lived in the promised land. That's the land that God promised them for many, many years. But guess what? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It says they forgot about God. That is so sad. How do you think God felt that they forgot about him? I think that God felt very, very sad. I think that that's very sad that they forgot about God because God did so many wonderful things for them. God always remembered them. God heard them. God fed them. God saved them. God delivered them. God rescued them. God actually held the water back so that they could walk through the water into dry land. God did so many. He gave them the the Ten Commandments, right? The guidelines, the rules. He wrote it down for them on stone. There's so many wonderful things that God did for his people, the Israelites. We read them all. We remembered them all. And so now he gave them a gift, right? The promised land. And he said, this is your land, a beautiful land. And we know that the people were a little bit afraid in the beginning. They were scared because the people, the Israelites were scared in the beginning because the people in the promised land were big and strong and so 
We had Joshua and Caleb who said, don't worry. God is with us. If he's giving us the land, he's going to take care of us. We don't have to be afraid of these people. So God gave them so much. He took care of them. He let them in. He, he, he protected them. He watched over them. He heard them. He fed them. He did so much for them. He gave them a land, a promised land. And they lived in that land for many years. But now they forgot about God. And that's so sad. It's so sad that they forgot about God because God loves them so much. He, he took good care of them and they just forgot about him. And I hope that you never forget about God. I hope that you never, ever forget about all the good things that he does for you because God loves you. And I want you to know that God takes care of you too. He watches over you and he hears you. Remember, we talked about that. When you pray, he hears you just like he heard Moses. He hears you when you pray. He hears you when you're scared. He hears you when you're sad. He hears you when you're nervous. He hears you. And so God loves you so much. He takes care of you. He sends his guardian angels all around you. He watches over you while you're asleep. He provides for you. So God does so much for you. Let us never, ever forget about God. Let's always remember God. Let's always remember to say thank you to God. Let's always remember that God loves us and that he too takes care of us. And so he remembers us. He always remembers us. He always takes care of us. Us. Let us never, ever forget about God because that would break God's heart. It would make God so sad. Well, that's what we're reading right now. It says that the Israelites, they lived in the land that God promised them, the land God gave them for many years, but they forgot about him. They forgot all about him. Oh, how sad is that? That is so sad. Well, a bad king, a bad king from another land ruled over them so there was a bad king who came in from another land and he started to rule over those israelites oh those poor israelites remember when the ruler of egypt pharaoh was mistreating them and wasn't he was making them work so hard and god rescued them well now there's another bad king from another land who's ruling over the israelites because they forgot all about god and now they've started to remember God and they started to remember how God saved them before, how God took care of them, how God fed them. And so now they turn to God and they say, God, please help us. There's a bad king who's ruling over us, who's ruling over us right now. And he's not nice, God. He's not nice to us at all. So now they started to remember him and they started to pray to him. So this is... A picture of Deborah. Deborah, this is the title of our story. Deborah leads the way. You see Deborah and she's reading and she's studying. And I believe she's reading God's Bible. She's reading God's word. She's reading all about God because she's a woman who loved God. She's a woman who feared God. She's a woman who did what God wanted her to do. And she was a strong woman. She was a woman warrior. Her name was Deborah. So now the Israelites are asking God for help. And it says here that God sent them a judge, a judge. So, you know, um, judges, if you don't know, judges are people who help, um, who help decide, um, who help to make decisions. They make decisions. So when you go to a court or a place of court, and you are actually talking in front of a judge, a judge is going to look at the laws and the rules, and they're going to see whether you are keeping the laws and the rules, and they're going to say, yes, you, you obeyed the laws or the rules, or mm, you, didn't, you disobeyed the laws and the rules, you didn't do what you were supposed to do, so now you either have to pay a fine or you have to uh, pay some money because you you went through that red light let's say that's a broken that's one of the rules that you could break oh your car went through the red light so now you have to pay a ticket because you broke one of the rules you broke one of the laws and so judges help to decide they decide right from wrong they help to decide right from wrong and so god sent over a judge to the israelites she's a judge is someone who helps deciding right from wrong 
they sent a judge named Deborah. God sent a judge named Deborah to the Israelites. And Deborah, this judge who helps the people know right from wrong, she helps to talk about right from wrong. She loved God very much. So I'm going to make my love heart right here. Deborah loved God very much. She was a judge who helped the people learn right from wrong. And so she made decisions too. She helped make decisions and her name was Deborah. And she loved God very, very much. And she gave her, and God gave her, God gave Deborah a plan to defeat the bad king. To defeat the bad king means to actually get rid of that bad king so that she could win and um, they could get rid of that bad king because he wasn't a good king like Pharaoh wasn't a good Pharaoh for the Israelites and how God took the Israelites out. Well, God chose Deborah. He says, Deborah, I choose you. You're going to be a judge. You're going to help decide, help the people know right from wrong. You're going to help make decisions and you're going to help the people know right from wrong. But what we're going to, I'm going to give you, Deborah, is I'm going to give you a plan. And in this plan, we're going to get rid of that bad king. We're going to defeat. Defeat means we're going to win. We're going to win this, this war. We're going to win this battle because this king is not being very nice. So we're going to get rid of this bad king. And God gave Deborah a plan. And so she sent for a man. Deborah called. She sent for. She said, I, I want this man to come. And his name was called Barak. Can you say that? Barak. Barack. Yes. You know, our president, our former president, Obama, that was his name, Barack. Barack Obama, our former president, his name was Barack. Well, Deborah, she called a man named Barack to come to her. And she said, Barack, you come to me. And she told him, God wants you to take 10,000. That's a lot of soldiers. I can't even count them on my fingers or toes. 10,000 soldiers and wait on a hill. So Deborah, the judge, God calls her and he said, I have a plan. We're going to get rid of this mean, nasty king who's not nice to my people. And I have a plan for you, Deborah. And so she, he told Deborah, this is my plan. So in God's plan, Deborah called Barak and she said, God wants you to take 10,000 soldiers and wait on a hill. I want to show you that picture. Here's Deborah the judge. I also like to call her a woman warrior. Deborah the judge because she made good decisions. And then here she called for Barack and she says, this is God's plan. I'm going to tell you what God's plan is. He wants you to take 10,000 soldiers and wait on a hill. So there's Deborah the judge and she has the plan of God and she's helping to make good decisions. Well, the Israelites were not as strong as their enemies. And so Barak begged Deborah to go with them. Barak said, Deborah, we're, we're not really strong. Our army's not strong. Our enemies are stronger than us and we're very afraid. Why don't you come with us, Deborah? Why don't you come as a woman warrior? Why don't you come and you come with us because you're strong, Deborah, and you're a strong leader. We know that you're a strong leader. So why don't you be the one to come with us? And so here it goes and it says that she said, okay, okay. She said, I, I, I'm going, I'm going to come with you. And when the Israelites met face, oh, let me just show you that picture. So she says, here's Barak. And he says, well, Deborah, why don't you come with us? You should come because our army is, is, is not very strong. We have a weak army and you're a strong woman. And God gave you the plan. Why don't a strong leader? Why don't you come with us? It says here, when the Israelites met, she agreed. She said, okay, I'll go with you. And when the Israelites met face to face, with the king's army. So it was the Israelites. They weren't very strong. The Israelites, all of God's people, they met face to face with God's army, with the, with not God, the Israelites were God's people. They met face to face with the king's army. The king was not nice. With the king's army, Deborah said out loud, go, go and attack them now. God is with us. That's what Deborah said. 
And the Israelites listened to Deborah and obeyed because Deborah knew that it didn't matter whether they were weak. It didn't matter whether they were strong. She said, we serve a mighty God. We serve a big God. Remember that song? My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. She said, go right now because God is with us. He will protect us. He will save us. He will deliver us. Go right now. We can fight this battle. We can fight this war. They're being bullies. They're being mean to us. They're trying to take over our land. They're trying to take over us. They're not respecting us. And so the Israelites obeyed. They listened to Deborah and they won the battle. They won the battle because they said, no, 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 you're not going to be mean to us. You're not going to take over our land. You're not going to do what Pharaoh did to us and, and make us your slaves. We're not anybody's slaves. We're going to protect our land and God is going to protect us. And God was with them. God was with them. So that was in the Bible. And there's Deborah right there. And she's telling the people, don't be afraid. God is with us. We're not going to let anyone take our land or take over or be mean or cruel to us because God is with us and he will protect us. I love that story because like I said, Deborah was a judge and a judge helps um, helps make helps us um, make good decisions and a, a judge teaches us right from wrong. But Deborah was also strong. She was a strong woman warrior who told the people, you don't have to be afraid. Yes, you might feel small. Yes, you might not feel like a strong army. Yes, you might feel weak, but we serve a mighty God. We serve a big God. We serve a powerful God. And we serve a God who will save us and deliver us. Remember, he saved us and delivered us. We can't be afraid. We need to really protect our land and God is with us. And they listened to Deborah and they won the war. They won the war. So Deborah is a good, strong woman warrior. She reminds me of like when we think about and we were talking about in the beginning, you can think of your favorite superhero like Wonder Woman or Captain Marvel. And you can think about these superheroes. But Deborah was a real live woman who believed in God and the strength of God, and she led her people to victory. She led her people, and victory means that we win. She led her people to win, and she didn't let the bad uh, king, the bad ruler, take over their land because she knew God was with them. I love this story because this story teaches us that we should always remember that God is with us. We should always remember who God is, and we should always really remember to talk to God and to thank him for everything he does for us. We should never, ever forget God. The Israelites had forgotten God for a while and they stopped talking to him and that made God sad. And they only remembered him when that bad king came and that bad king wanted to take over. And then they said, oh, let's pray to God. Let's remember God. And God still delivered them. And God used Deborah. He used a woman who loved God, who served God, who thought of God always. And he told Deborah the plan. So I want us to always remember to think about God, to pray to God, to thank God, and to never forget him or all the good things he does for us. And know that whenever we feel stuck, whenever we feel worried, whenever we feel afraid, all we have to do is cry out to God because he will always save us, rescue us, and deliver us. So tonight's song, what I want to sing is God is so good because I love that song and God was so good how he was with the Israelites. And then I'm going to pray for each and every one of you. God is so good. God is so good, God is so good, he's so good to me. I love him so, I love him so, I love him so. I love him so, he's so good to me. Then I'll praise his name. 
I'll praise his name. That means we won't forget about him. I'll praise his name. Praise you, Jesus. I'll praise his name. He's so good to me. I want to say thank you for watching tonight's story time. I want to say thank you all for uh, being on. I want you to know that I love you. I think about you and I pray for you all often. I miss you all. I'm going to give you my hugs and miss. I miss you. I miss you all. But I know that even though we are apart and we haven't been able to see each other in person, that I pray for you and God is with you and he is never going to leave you. He will never leave you. He will never abandon you. He will always, always take care of you. And so I want you to know that I pray for you. I think about you and I ask God to always protect you. So Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for every boy and every girl who's watching story time this evening i thank you for every prince and every princess i pray that you would bless them i pray that you would heal them oh lord if they're sick i pray that you would heal and touch their bodies whoever's afraid i pray when they're frightened or they're scared that they would know that you walk with them that you will always bless them and take care of them that you will place their your guardian angels all around their bedside I pray, oh, Father, that they would be able to sleep with peace. I pray that they won't have any bad dreams or be scared while they are sleeping tonight, that they won't be scared of the dark or anything, knowing that you are with them. I pray for your peace and your comfort. Watch over them and wake them up with the morning light. I pray for their mommies and their daddies and their brothers and their sisters and their grandmas and their grandpas for everyone, their aunts and uncles, for all of their family. Be with them, bless them, protect them, oh God. I thank you for them. Bless us throughout the week. I pray in Jesus' precious and holy name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. So I pray that you would have a good night's rest, that you would sleep tonight. Remember, we are on again tomorrow at 8 p.m. We will be on. So I hope you can join us again tomorrow on YouTube, on Facebook, that you will hear tomorrow night's story. We're going to keep talking about judges. We're going to read about another judge, a different judge, a male judge this time. And a judge is someone that God sent um, to teach the people right from wrong, to help them, who, who comes up with plans, who helps come up and helps the people, who makes decisions um, for the people, helps the, the people make good decisions based off of God's, um, God's guidelines, God's laws and God's rules and God's word. They study God's word and they love God. And so we're going to be reading about another judge tomorrow. I'll share with you his name tomorrow, but don't forget to join us tomorrow night at 8 p.m. I'm going to give you my story time kisses now. Here are my kisses. Those are my story time kisses for each and every one of you. I want to say thank you for watching. It was good to have you on this evening. And here are my story time hearts. And that comes from me and Teddy. And it comes from Rabbit and Ellie. We are all giving you our story time hearts, our kisses and hugs. I love you all. Have a wonderful evening, a good night's rest. And wake up fresh to do all of your work tomorrow. And I look forward to seeing you on again tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Don't forget... And if you miss it, it's okay. I want you to know you can always, our our um, our bedtime stories are always on City Kids Queen's Facebook page. That's your Facebook page. You can go back to watch a story that you've missed, or you can also watch it on YouTube. So if you've missed it, our stories will stay on for you to go back to watch them, or you can pick one of your favorite stories to watch again. So I hope to see you all on again tomorrow. You are loved. I love you all. And I will see you all on again tomorrow. Have a good night, everyone. Bye-bye.